Um, I was watching the NBA this past weekend and came to mind. Do you think the NBA, even Kurt, Shalon, do you, like, do you guys think the NBA is, is still fun? And I ask that because with everybody scoring 50, 60, and 70, is that still like, is it still a competitive league or is it just set up, you know what I'm saying, for scores in, in, in games to run up? You know, what you guys think? Everybody. It's competitive. The climate has definitely changed. Yeah. 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 Everybody got a bag. Yeah. yeah. Everybody got a bag. Okay. So I hear you, Kurt. <laughs> and, I, and that's the bro. That's and that's bro. That's perfect. It's like it seems like it's a run and shoot. It's, it really seems recreational. Just balling. Just get your just then playoffs when it's lock in. Let's play system ball. Let's do what that, we got to do. That's what I want to see year round. I miss when people was getting hit hard and it was really aggressive because I mean you had to fight for every point. You had to fight for every rebound. You know this is hell of leisure. Like it's hell of laid back. You know what I'm saying like. They always talked about, you know, certain people in the NBA not having defense. Well, nobody really plays defense. That's why when people do, they stand yeah, out. Know, yeah. Nobody plays defense in the NBA. And you can see it. It goes from college being hella competitive and playing defense to get the NBA. And it's like you're looking at them like, damn, you know, you're chilling right now, which I understand you're already getting paid or whatever. But at the same time, for when it comes to the showmanship of the game, you got to keep the competitiveness up. You got to keep the competitiveness up. You got to make sure that people are still intrigued. And in basketball, is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's everywhere in the world. So it's people working hard everywhere and trying to improve. And that's what I was going to say. Don't get me wrong. Like, athletes change. The basketball players of today are not like the basketball players of the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Even though 90s was a dope era, rough era. But I think that the way the game is going, like, come on now. No disrespect to Spider, but he was 11 points away from breaking Kobe, you know, from beating Kobe's 81 points. He scored 71 points. There's not a day you would have told me that Kobe would have, you know, lost his record or whatever to somebody. You know what I'm saying? He don't have the – I think Wilt got the highest. But I'm just saying, I wouldn't believe you told me he would score that many points, you know. So, who's going to be next? Luka is averaging like 40, 50. He scored 60. He's going crazy. I think 50, 36, 37, 42. Like, so, who's next? You know what I'm saying? Like, is, is the NBA going to – change rules to where it, it goes more defense where you have to run like a scheme or plays or it's just about to be willy nilly. You know what I'm saying? That's my thing. I'm more of a football guy anyway, but I just miss where it, it, it just is, 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 is just not basketball to me. Not you know what I'm saying? Strategic. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, who has superpowers, and you know, who's using them and how they're going to use them, you know? And just like a uh, Kurt said, like it's the monsters. You got at least four, four crazy hoopers on your team. You know, it's four people in there who might got all-star capabilities. You know what I'm saying? So it, it ain't no lie. It's just everybody's like that now. And then all these power teams and powerhouses they're building, it just is kind of – it's kind of watered down, but it's because we make that sport. It's going to always reign supreme within our community and others. Oh, know, oh, no, it is. We are the alpha and the omega. But as yeah. far as being black people, we make up – I can't – Chop the percentage, but if you Google it, I'm guaranteeing you it's going to be higher than 50. And they keep giving the MVPs to some guy from across the pond. From Huddleston in the game. You were. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> you're wrong for that. But but also, I'm going to give a shout out to Kyrie. I'm going to give a shout out to Kyrie Irving. He's backballing. They try to blackball my Back in his nuts. Point, believe in. He's a relentless, you know, uh, philanthropist. He gives, he gives, he gives. And also, Nike, try, you know, Nike did drop him. And he's entertaining, signing with, you know, with black, you know, sneaker makers and creators. But he's just out here balling. He's balling regardless. And I admire that. You know what I'm saying? Because he stood on what he believed. So many people, you know, so many NBA players like, man, I don't want no shot. And fold, yeah. And two weeks later, it was like, you know, got to get back in the yo. You know Can't make that birth. You know, and Kyrie was like, nah, man. <laughs> nah, for real. Like, that's, I love Kyrie. Like, Kyrie's my favorite. Under Jordan, Kyrie's my favorite basketball player now. Like, he is. Like, there's, I believe I'm standing like, um, standing on, if you don't stand for anything, bro, you're toast. He stood on what he believed in. You know what I'm saying? And not everybody agrees with what he did. I'm not agreeing with everything he did, but as far as in that public eye, the scrutiny, the pressure of a billion trillion falter, dollar company, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're, you're in falter. falter, you know? Yeah. So big shout out to him because he's back and he's balling. I think the Nets got the best record in the league. They don't know what, 12 games streak or something. Like, come on now, stop playing, you know? So. I got to tune in. I'm not even hip chocolate chip. Nah, bro, the, no, he's back there balling. It's not a coincidence. I think they're like 18 and three since he's been back or something. Okay, okay, that's or that's the record or something like that.